I don't even know where to start except to just say thank you. I'm just a little overwhelmed by how many of you watched and subscribed and left really thoughtful comments. It was actually my first time doing something like that, so I was a little nervous, and <clears throat> you guys are amazing. <laughs> like, uh, I'm excited to put more videos out. So that's exactly what I want to do right now. I want to answer some of the questions that you guys had. And by the way, there were a lot of really great questions and comments. Um, great topics for videos moving forward. But the biggest three that I kept seeing over and over again, where do I use the bathroom when I have to go number two? Where do I shower? And how do I do my laundry? So let's dive in. Okay, so there's my toilet. We have this... I don't know what you'd call it, but you have to pump it 10 times, roughly, in order to create some pressure so that you can flush. Voila. And then you pull open this lever down here, and that empties the toilet, just like that. And you fill the water over here. Oh, wow. I did not expect that to happen. I guess it's because I'm kind of up in the high country. If I have to go number one, I'm golden. I'm totally fine. All I have to do is empty that thing when it gets full, which for me on average is every like six to seven days. And it's easy to empty. I'm not going to show you how I do it today because I have to go find a location and it's a little time consuming, but it's not that time consuming. I'm just being lazy. I'll show you another day. Today, I want to talk about number two. Okay, so it's the morning. I just had my cup of coffee. I gotta go to the bathroom. What do I do? Um, all right, so if I'm in a city, this is a lot easier. Typically, since I'm self-contained and I like to work in my van a lot, um, I'll just go find like a public park and they have bathrooms there. They usually open around 6 a.m., some a little later, whatever, but there's so many options if you're in a city. Grocery stores, a lot of them are open 24 hours or they open early. I love to eat vegetables. I eat a ton of produce. I shop like three to four times a week, not even kidding, which might sound crazy, but when you live on the road, you're constantly going past grocery stores, so it's not really a big deal. You're always, you're never like at home and you have to make a special trip. You're just cruising by. So. Grocery stores always have bathrooms, and so that's that's a great option. I also really love libraries. They're quiet, there are no distractions, and coffee shops. If I need like strong Wi-Fi, um, that's usually my go-to. It's also great because you are patronizing a local coffee shop. Away from a city, it's a little more challenging, but I tend to hang out around national parks, state parks, so in that case, I can just use a bathroom within the park, or I can use pet toilets. Sometimes I park outside of friends' houses and I can use their bathrooms in the morning. Shout out to my friends. <laughs> you guys are awesome. The number one place that I go is the gym. So that touches on the second thing, which is where do I take a shower? I personally use Anytime Fitness and this is after trying a few different gyms. I tried 24 Hour Fitness, Planet Fitness. They're both great, but I decided obviously not to choose those for different reasons. It's 24 hour access. Uh, you just have a key fob, so you don't have to check in or go during hours or whatever. Um, sometimes they're, they have complimentary shampoo, complimentary conditioner, towel service at some of the locations. They're just really well maintained. They're often not too busy, um, which is really great, unlike some of the other bigger gyms. And the locations. They tend to have them dotted all throughout the West Coast, but rather than be super concentrated in large cities, they're also on the outskirts, so there are a lot more options when you're staying on BLM land or national forests or heading into a state park. When I go to the gym, I just grab my gym bag this is a microfiber towel that dries really quickly. My shampoo, conditioner, hair dryer. What I like to do is if I'm not going straight to a coffee shop to do work, then I try to go to the gym every morning, depending on where I am. So I'll work out and then I'll do my business, shower, and voila. Another option for showers is truck stops. I've never actually used one, but I've seen them when I've stopped and I have friends that use them and I think they range from like seven to nine dollars or something. They're not too expensive. Um, they're a little more expensive than I want to pay. I just use the gym, but that's always an option. Friends houses. Campgrounds are really reliable. Usually you just pay like a day use fee, which could be as little as five dollars. Other really great options are aquatic centers. So I've used those in various places. They're usually three to five dollars to just go use the shower for the day. If I'm gonna be in a place for a long time, like Moab is a great example, 
I like to post up there for three to four weeks sometimes and they have an aquatic center there so I just buy a monthly membership and I go to the gym every day I shower I use the bathroom I can fill my water it's it's great and I think it was like $40 for the whole month. Oh, where do I do laundry? Guys, laundry is super simple. I just go to a laundromat. So whenever I'm passing through a town or a city, I just do my laundry. I only do my laundry every two to three weeks. Uh, and depending on where you are, you know, prices vary, but it's typically $7 or less sometimes for the wash and the dry. Um, I also use friends' houses sometimes if they'll let me. I should also mention that as a photographer, I'm being sent on trips pretty often with the brands that I work with and also to shoot for tourism boards. So when I do that, I get, I get flown somewhere and I stay in hotels and, um, or it's locally, I just drive and then I'm put up in hotels. So that kind of breaks up living on the road all the time. I live in this van 24 seven with the exception of those work trips. And sometimes I'll house it for friends or I'll just stay with friends. All of the things that I talked about, the shower, the laundry, um, the, the toilet, those are legit concerns. I was freaked out about them before I moved into my SUV and uh, it's, it took a little bit of adjusting, but once you kind of get over that hump of just trying to come to terms with the fact that you can't go sit on your toilet for two hours in your own house if you want to, which I don't know if any of you do, but <laughs> you can't go take a shower in your own home whenever you want. Um, yeah, those are drawbacks for sure. Like they're drawbacks, but I think at the end of the day, for me at least, it's well worth like the, the pros far outweigh the cons. I mean, I get to wake up wherever I want. I get to go wherever I want and I always have my house and my office with me. And yeah, that's kind of hard to beat, um, for me. Like it's not for everyone, but I just wanted to make that clear. If that's holding you back, um, look into it. Like there's so many different options and you can just get creative with it. So guys, I really hope that was helpful. Um, again, I am trying really hard to answer all of your questions. I have like a lot of commercial work going on right now and some trips coming up, but eventually I would love to get in the habit of posting every week. So we'll see. Thank you for being patient with me. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.